I've seen a lot of posts recently arguing if forward-facing sonar scares off or affects fish. So I started thinking and researching the effects of sonar in general on fish to see if there's anything there. Given the temperature of the online debates, it's clearly not a subject that has a lot of consensus yet. Just like everyone else, I've seen schools of fish dart for the bottom as my boat approaches now that I have forward-facing sonar and can see what I would not have seen before. The fact is I could not find many studies that covered this topic. The military has done the most research on the effects of sonar in the ocean. We can learn a little based off of that, but not exactly the same situation. My first question is how well can fish actually hear? The answer really is not that well. Think about it. They don't have outer ears, so sound has to get through the scales, flesh, and bone before hitting their inner ear. It's like listening to a conversation through a wall with earplugs in. Humans can hear a range of about 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Estimates I found for fish range from 10 to 1,000 hertz, greatly depending on the fish species. So those who claim fish can hear the clicks of a sonar because they jumped under their boat once and heard the sonar clicking are largely debunked. The sonar frequency is around 500 to 1,000 kilohertz, well above the sound most fish species could hear. It's like a dog whistle to a human. So the question is, how far away can fish hear sounds in the water? Turns out it's not very far. One article I saw indicated likely less than 30 feet. The fact is, since sound travels so fast underwater, they probably hear it from a lot further away, but they also hear every other sound from the same distances. It's a lot like us in a room with a lot of people talking. We hear the sound, but it's just noise. We can't really interpret most of the sounds we hear unless someone shouts or gets very close. So what about the lateral line? Fish can feel the pulse of the sound wave, right? Again, there is the issue of frequency and amplitude. It's not likely that the frequency and power of sonar is strong enough to be detected from any kind of great distance. But for argument's sake, let's say they can feel it. How are the fish using that information, and what do they actually feel? If they are in a school of fish, all swimming around, they are creating vibrations. Wind is creating vibrations on the surface. Wake boats running nearby and jet skis all creating vibrations that travel very far underwater. Is our little whisper of a sonar ping among all of that other noise registering as something that would trigger a fight or flight response? The fact is we are approaching the fish in 120 square foot boats blocking out the sun. Our hull is sticking down two feet to placing a lot of water. We have trolling motors running, live wells running, music playing, talons dragging on the bottom. Ultimately forward facing sonar is not what is giving our location away. Thanks for watching. Please check out our other videos and subscribe.